In this video, we at iDoc Europe show you how to replace the SIM card reader on your iPhone 11 yourself. The repair is a bit more difficult because the display is glued on and you have to take care of the somewhat fragile flex cables. You should plan at least 30 to 60 minutes, if you're not yet familiar with iPhone repairs, you'd better plan a little more time for it. For the repair we recommend the following tools. Tools and spare parts are available from iDoc at www.idoc.eu. All links can be found in the video description. And now have fun with the repair. First turn off your iPhone to avoid short circuits. Press and hold the standby button and one of the volume buttons, and then confirm to switch off the phone. To remove the display, first remove the two pentalobe screws to the left and right of the lightning connector. Apple uses special pentalobe screws here. The links to all necessary tools can be found in the video description. The display is strongly glued. So you should heat the glue to remove the display. Use a heat gun or a hairdryer. To remove the display you will also need a suction cup and a hard plastic plectrum. An iFlex is also handy for getting into the narrow gap between the display and the frame. Note, however, that the iPhone is no longer waterproof after a repair. Heat the edges of the display to about 60 degrees Celsius. Take care not to overheat the device. As a rule of thumb, always heat the device only so far that you can still touch the heated area with your hand. Heating softens the glue a little bit and lets you remove the display. Now grab your suction cup and stick it to the bottom of the display. Next pull on the suction cup and insert a plectrum into the space between display and frame. If you have been able to push the plectrum in a little bit, move the plectrum once around the frame and lever the display slightly upwards. If you can't get a plectrum into the gap between the display and the frame, you can use a thinner tool like the iFlex. But be careful not to scratch the frame nor go too far into the device with the tool. Also, when working with the plectrum, be careful not to insert it too far into the device. Be especially careful on the right side, where the display connection cables are located. Heat the edge repeatedly and gradually loosen the display adhesive. Once the glue is loosened all around, you can fold open the display. Don't unfold the display too much, or the cables might get strained and suffer damage. Put a stable object next to the iPhone to support the display and make your device doesn't slip away. You can also take a tool like the iHold Evo for support. The iHold consists of a flexible cable with a clamp and is plugged into the lightning connector. Then you can fix the display with the clamp and so the display can no longer slip away. The display unit is connected with a total of three connectors. First of all remove the cover plate above the connectors. Loosen the screws of the same lengths, remove the plate and then carefully separate the connectors with a spudger. Be careful not to loose the screws or mix them with others later on. The easiest way to do this is with an iDoc magnet pad, on which you can arrange the screws and the cover plate as they are placed in the device. Hold the display firmly and take care not to overstretch the thin flex cables. Take your time and pay special attention when loosening the connectors. Be careful not to damage any parts of the logic board. Now everything is disconnected and you can set the display unit aside. Now disconnect the battery to make the iPhone completely disconnected from the power source. Loosen the screws on the cover plate above the battery contact. Remove the metal plate and put all parts together on a square of your magnetic mat. Now carefully lever off the battery contact with a plastic spudger and bend it a little to the side. With the iPhone 11, the SIM card reader is again a single component as it was with the iPhone XR and can be replaced individually. First remove the SIM card holder from the device. Then push the small pin back into the housing. Next, disconnect the large contact of the lightning connector assembly. The SIM card reader connector is located below it. Loosen the two screws of the cover. For the standoff screws there are special screwdrivers with a centering pin in the middle. With this the screws can be loosened easy. Alternatively, you can also use a narrow slotted screwdriver. Then remove the cover and separate the connector carefully with a spudger. 
Next, loosen the screws that hold the SIM card reader in the iPhone. A small metal clip is screwed down with one screw. Note the orientation of the clip so that you can reinsert it correctly later. When all screws are loosened, you can remove the SIM card holder from the device. Now install the new SIM card reader and make sure that it is correctly positioned. Next, put all the screws back in. Don't forget the small metal clip attached to one screw. Then plug in the connector of the SIM card reader. It's a bit more difficult to reach, so you can use a spudger to connect it. Make sure it clicks into place properly. Then put the cover plate back on and screw it on. Finally reconnect the wide connector. Insert the SIM card holder. You shouldn't feel any strong resistance, otherwise the card reader is not yet positioned correctly. Finally you can connect the battery contact. Position it over its place on the logic board and press it down. Put the metal bracket on and screw it down. To protect the iPhone against dust and splash water it is recommended to use a new adhesive frame. In this video, you can see the iPhone 8, but the procedure is the same for the iPhone 11. First remove all glue residue, so the new glue will hold. But do remember that the iPhone will no longer be 100% waterproof. Before attaching the frame sticker make sure it's aligned right. The corners and the holes for the camera show you which way is up or down. Now remove the first backing film. First put the frame smoothly on one side of the device and press it on slightly. Then press on the sticker all around. Make sure that the sticker stays inside of the frame all around. Grab a spudger to make the frame sticker hold properly. Now you can remove the second big carrier film. You can remove the last small part of film now or after connecting and testing the display. Leaving the film on prevents the display from sticking too early. Place the display unit on the edge of the frame and lean it to a stable object, so the fragile flex cables don't get stretched too far. Make sure your device doesn't slip away. Connect the three display connectors. Make sure you place them right before you press them on. Don't slide them around over their logic board sockets or the contacts might get damaged. Now you can reattach the cover plate and secure it with the screws. You can now do a quick test to make sure the SIM card reader is working right. You can also test if the display is connected correctly. Carefully fold down the display, but don't press it onto the frame yet. Now press and hold the standby button to start your device. Test if the display works correctly and use a SIM card to check if the iPhone recognizes it properly. If everything works fine you can go on and close the device. If the touch screen or the earpiece isn't working right, it could be because the connectors aren't sitting right or the flex cables are damaged. Now carefully fold and close the display. Make sure the display is sitting right before you press it on. Gradually press down the display so it's sitting on the frame right. Now you can fasten the pentalobe screws at the lower end of the iPhone. Your iPhone is fixed now and we hope it was fun for you. If you liked the video, why don't you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. High quality tools, spare parts and accessories are available in our store. See you next time.